the squat, the press, the deadlift, and the bench press. And now today, let's learn how to do the power clean. When running your novice linear progression, the deadlift will eventually become too difficult to recover from training three times a week. That's when we like to insert a light pulling day and the power clean is our favorite. The reason why we like it is because it allows our display of power to keep pace with our increased strength. In our gym, we train for strength. And as our lifters continue to get stronger, we want their ability to display their strength quickly to keep pace with their increased force production. This is what power is, and this is when the power clean comes in, into play. Remember, power cleans cannot be done slowly, so by their very nature, they must be done quickly and explosively, and that's why we train them. It's a fantastic addition to the program on the first light day pulling and a standard linear progression. Fran is gonna help us out today to teach you how to do this thing right. We're gonna start by teaching it from the top down. So as we mentioned before, we wanna teach this thing from the top down. So I'm gonna have Fran go ahead and deadlift this bar up any way he wants, I don't really care. And I want him to take a grip on the bar that's about a hand width or so wider than his standard deadlift grip. And the reason for this is that this is gonna facilitate his ability to rack the bar on his shoulders in the rack position. So we're gonna learn the first three positions. The first position is called the hang position, which is exactly what Fran is doing. His arms are straight and long, chest is up, everything is in place as it should be. Now, I'm gonna have Fran from here learn how to rack the barbell on his shoulders. I just want him to go ahead and put the bar up on his shoulders any way he wants, let the fingers go. And what you'll notice is that Fran's elbows will be up and the elbows pointed forward. Now what this is gonna do is contract the muscle belly of his delt and give that bar something to rest on. The bar is not gonna be hitting the clavicle or the throat, it's gonna sit on the muscle belly of his delt. Now from here, which is called the rack position, I want Fran to learn how to drop the barbell close to his chest as much as he can. I'm gonna have him not uncurl the bar, but really drop it down his chest and catch it. Just exactly like that. Go ahead and get it up again. Elbows are up. And go ahead and just let the bar fall and catch it. Good, awesome. So that's what that's gonna look like. He's got the hang and the rack. The last position we're gonna teach is called the jumping position. From the hang, I want Fran with long straight arms to unlock his knees and his hips simultaneously. Now before he starts, unlocked hips looks like this, right? Come on back. And unlocked knees looks like this. Now he's gonna do these things together. And what he's gonna produce is something a little bit like his standing vertical jump position unlocking both at the same time. Right about here, good. Now the bar is gonna slide depending on anthropometry, but for most people, right in the middle of his thigh. Now we're gonna learn how to do from here is to jump. This is the jumping position. For Fran, every time this barbell from now on touches this position, he's gonna think about a trigger ready to jump. Now what we need to learn here is that the bar needs to be in long, straight arms. And to encourage this, I'm gonna have Fran squeeze out his triceps or internally rotate his elbows. I don't want this to bend. From here, I don't want Fran to do anything else except keep his hands down and jump as high as he can. Just exactly like that. Good, same idea. From the hang, unrack to the jumping position. Hold, elbows straight, chest is up, breath, jump. Good, awesome. Now we're gonna put this thing together. So Fran has the hang position. I want him to unlock his knees and hips to the jump. Elbows in and straight. Now we're gonna learn how to rack this thing. I want Fran to do the exact same thing he's done before, which is jump with straight arms. And on the way down from the peak of his jump, as he descends, elbows will come forward and he will slam it and catch it on the belly of his delts. Take a big breath. Up, on the way down. Good. Elbows up right there. And that's what you'll hear when a proper clean is done, kind of a clunking sound on his delts, not a, a mash up on his bones. Go ahead and drop it again, same idea, feet together. Good, unlock knees and hips. Elbows in, straight arms, pose triceps, big breath, jump, and down. Good, awesome. So as we mentioned before, because we're gonna teach this from the top down, I'm gonna have Fran do this exact same thing a jump and a rack on the shoulders from three different positions. First and foremost, he's gonna unlock the knees and hips to the jumping position. Elbows are in, straight wrists, good, big breath, jump, catch, good, unrack it. Feet together, good. Now I'm gonna have Fran, not yet, reach his hips back and slide the bar down to a position just below his knee or his patella. Big breath of air, 
and you're gonna stop there for a second. Slide it down the thighs and contact, hold. From here, elbows in, I'm gonna have him drag slowly, speed comes later, to the jump position. From there, he's gonna jump, rack on the shoulders. Slow, slow, jump. Good, set her down. And the last one, I'm gonna have Fran slide the barbell down his legs in contact until he gets to a position where the bar would be if there were plates on it. So just kind of mid shin. Go ahead, slide that bar down. Hold right there. You'll notice Fran's back is in rigid extension, quite horizontal. Slowly drag it off the floor, speed later. Slow, slow, straight arms, jump, rack, good. Set it down. And that's basically what a clean will look like. Now we can start adding some plates and get going off the floor. So we're gonna continue the progression by having Fran deadlift the bar up to a, for a full deadlift and repeat the same steps. He's gonna drop to the jump position, jump and catch, slide just below the knees, jump and catch. And the last one, he's gonna slide the barbell down until the plates hit the floor, touch barely. Then he's gonna slide up, big jump, rack, and we go from there. Good. Now you'll notice the setup is exactly like our deadlift, nothing changes except he's got a slightly wider grip in his back. I want to be a little bit more horizontal for longer. Go ahead and your hook grip, good. Eyes in front, good. Big breath of air, elbows turned in, you're gonna slide it down to the jumping position. Hold right there, elbows in straight arms, big breath. Good. Feet together, good. Slide your bar down, rigid back and extension, slide it down your thighs to just past your knee. Hold, turn the elbows in, drag slow, slow. Jump, good. Now, last one, same idea. Slide down to the bar, just plates barely touch the floor. Slide down, slide down, slowly touch, drag slow. Good. Jump, good, set it down, excellent. Now to finish thing off, we're gonna learn how to pull off the floor, which is what a standard clean would look like. Now, of course, because we added a little bit of weight to the bar, we got 50 on there now, which is not heavy for Fran. He pulls quite a bit heavier than this. We wanna learn that he can now accelerate a little bit faster off the floor. Now I've learned how to do this thing correctly with straight arms, pull, and rack. We can add a little bit of acceleration off the floor, but not a lot yet. We're still learning how to hammer this thing home. So go ahead, set up, like, set up just like your deadlift. Nothing changes. Good, hands a little bit outside your deadlift grip. Hook grip. Now he's not gonna go terribly fast. We're gonna pull a set of three here. Eyes out in front. Squeeze your back, keep the shoulders out in front. Drag. Good, set her down, excellent. Quick step back, good, reset. I'm gonna pull a set of three is just fine. Again, eyes in front. Long straight arms, squeeze your back. Jump. Good, a little later in that, jump a little later, mid-thigh. Last one, good. Full extension, slam the elbows forward. Hook, eyes in front, drag. Jump, excellent, good, set her down, good. Now the way we typically program our power cleans is once the deadlift becomes too heavy to recover from on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday program, we're gonna insert this power clean on light day Wednesday. Fantastic way to do this. We usually start on five sets of three, something like that, and work our way up. Make sure we hammer the technique down first before we start adding weight to this. Everybody who can clean should learn how to clean. That's why we do it here. We hope this helps. If you'd like to learn how the barbell can transform your body and literally change your life, there's no better place to be than right here with us at Brussels Barbell. Strength matters. Find yours with us.